In this video, we're going to have a look at the general binomial expansion. Now, in the year one material, we did the binomial expansion. We expanded brackets of this form here, where n, the power, was a positive integer. There's no longer such a restriction here. We can see that in year two work, n can be any real number. So what we're going to do is just write this formula out more fully so that we understand what's going on. So we've got the formula being 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 x squared over 2 factorial plus n and this is the bit that hasn't been written down but we'll carry on n minus 1 n minus 2 x cubed over 3 factorial plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 x to the 4 all over 4 factorial and so on so we can see a pattern emerging here but it doesn't look like these two have denominators why does the denominator start here well actually we just haven't written the denominator because that one's 1 factorial and that one's 0 factorial so actually we can see the pattern better if we write it in full like that. 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial and so on. Here there's no n's, then there's 1 n, n times n minus 1, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. So an extra factor, 1 less than the previous, we multiply by each time. So you might think to yourself, well that's a divide by 0 error. Well 0 factorial is defined to be 1. Let's just show in the calculator. So 0 factorial equals 1. Yeah, so that's the formula written out in full. So let's do an example. Let's do, I don't know, let's say uh, 1 plus 2x to the power of minus 2. And we'll do the first four terms. Well, okay, the first number in the bracket is 1, and that's what we need. The formula only works when the number is 1. So let's put in the formula. So we've got 1 over 0 factorial plus n, which is minus 2, times the x term, which isn't just x, it's 2x. In this case, we've replaced the x in this formula here with 2x. So the 2x needs to be in brackets. 2x over 1 factorial plus minus 2 minus 3, so n, n minus 1, 2x squared over 2 factorial, and then finally the fourth term, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 2x cubed over... 3 factorial and so on so let's simplify this a bit now so 1 over no, no factorial well 1 over no factorial 1 over 1 is just 1 plus minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4 x and at this point I think it's much easier to decide what the sign is going to be first so we've got here one, two minus signs, two minus signs, so that's going to make a plus. And this saves time and typing in the calculator because now all I'm going to do is just type the numbers without the signs. I've already decided it's a plus because there's two minus signs. So what I'm going to type in the calculator is two times three times two squared divided by two factorial. And I just think that really speeds things up and makes things less prone to errors. So two times three times 2 squared divided by 2 factorial which is 12 so plus 12 x squared okay let's count the minus signs again we've got one two three of them so three minus signs all together make a minus and then we're just going to type the numbers in we're going to forget about the signs 
So just pop that there. So we've got two times three times four times two cubed divided by three factorial, which is 32. So minus 32 x cubed and so on. So let's try a different one now. Let's try, I don't know, 1 minus 3x to the power of 1 half. And I want again the first four terms. So let's again just sub in the formula. So there's the formula again in case you've forgotten it. Let's just put those numbers in the formula now. So we've got, again, the first number, always check the first number is 1. If it's not 1, then we can't do it. So we get 1. Now I'll not bother writing the over 0 factorial. Now we'll just use the formula as is. So 1 plus n times the x term plus n times n minus 1, x term squared, over 2 factorial, plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x term cubed, over 3 factorial, and that's the first four terms. So that's equal to, well, I should really put plus then an ellipsis, just to say it goes on forever. So equals 1, take, so there's one minus sign, so it's a take, 3 over 2x, don't need a calculator to do that one. But then it starts getting a bit more difficult, so I am going to use the safety net of a calculator for this one. So first of all, I'm going to count the minus signs. You might be forgiven for thinking there's two minus signs here, but there's actually three. There's one, and because this is a square bracket, two. 3 in that bracket, so 1, 2, 3. So 3 minus signs, they make a minus. And let's type it in the calculator. So it makes it quicker if I type these in as decimals. So we've got a half, which is 0 0.5, times another half, which is 0 0.5, times 3 squared, divided by 2 factorial equals 9 eighths. So take 9 eighths x squared. And that just seems to be much quicker. Decide on what sign it is first, then just type the numbers in. Okay, next one. So decide on the my, uh, what sign it is. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minus signs there. So once again, it's a minus. So minus. And again, let's just type it in the calculator. So 0.5 times 0.5 times 1.5 times 3 cubed divided by 3 factorial equals 27 sixteenths. So minus 27 sixteenths x cubed and so on. So that's how to expand basic functions. So the next bit really is to look at this statement here, mod x is less than one, because the binomial expansion is only valid for certain values of x. So I'll just put a little subheading here, validity of expansion. So as this says here, this expansion is only valid when the modulus of the x term is less than 1. So let's go right back up to this initial expansion that we did here. So 1 plus 2x to the power minus 2. So let's copy that, put that down here, and let's find the values for which it's valid. So the x term is positive 2x. So it's only valid when the x term or indeed the modulus of the x term, as stated here, is less than 1. So the modulus of 2x 
is less than 1. So what we can do, the modulus of 2x is the same as the modulus of 2 times the modulus of x is less than 1. And we know the modulus of 2 is just 2, so we can delete those bars, which means that the modulus of x is less than 1 half. Alternatively, a different way of thinking about it, we could solve this bracket equaling 0. So do it a different way. Solve this bracket equaling 0. So I get 1 plus 2x equals 0, which means that 2x equals minus 1, which means that x equals minus 1 half. Then simply just make everything positive and stick an inequality in there. Therefore, modulus of x is less than one half. So two different ways of getting the same answer. So you can get it either this way or this way. I'll do another one just to make sure we're getting this. So let's try this one here. So pop this one down here. So pop that one there. So this one, the x term, has to be less than 1. So modulus of minus 3x is less than 1. Well, the modulus of minus 3x is the modulus of minus 3 times the modulus of x, less than 1. And we know the modulus of minus 3 is just 3. So 3 modulus of x less than 1, which means that modulus of x less than a third. So that's one way of doing it. Other way of doing it, just solve what's in the bracket equaling 0. So 1 minus 3x equals 0, which means that 3x equals 1, which means that x equals a third. Make everything positive, which it already is. And just turn into a modulus inequality. X is less, mod of x is less than a third. So again, two ways of getting exactly the same answer. So we won't make the examples any more complicated. We'll do a couple of more complicated examples in the next video. And in particular, where this number here isn't equal to one, how we deal with that. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.